Hey everybody, welcome to my show for drummers only. Today we're going to talk about Spencer Dryden. He's an American musician and drummer for Jefferson Airplane. He was born in 1938 and died in 2005. Born in New York City, his mother was a ballet dancer and her dad was an actor and half-brother of Charlie Chaplin. Spencer told no one about this. The family moved to LA in high school. Uh, he became a member of the Smog City Six as a drummer. And he played New Orleans style jazz. His father was a jazz fan. He took Spencer to jazz clubs in the 50s. And in 66, Dryden would replace Skip Spence in Jefferson Airplane. Skip Spence was a guitarist who got the drummer's post because he looked the part. He was on Jefferson Airplane's first album. He became a Moby Grape guitarist before being diagnosed with schizophrenia. His solo album, or is considered a classic. Perhaps I'll have more on him in a future episode of Mid-Rock Crisis. Back to Dryden. When Dryden joined, Jefferson Airplane was already a leading Frisco band. Grace Slick also joined at this time. Dryden and bassist Jack Cassidy created an exceptional rhythm section Surrealistic Pillow was the new album, and it went to number three in the U.S. The lineup was Slick, Dryden, Cassidy, singer Marty Balin, guitarists, singer-songwriter Paul Kantner, and lead guitarist Yorma Kalkinen, who named the band after Blind Lemon Jefferson, a Delta blues man. Surrealistic Pillow was the first popular record to emerge from San Francisco psychedelic scene in the 60s. Jerry Garcia helped produce and played guitar on several songs uncredited. Here's the songs. One, She Has Funny Cars. It's got a great drum intro. Two, Somebody to Love. Well, know that. Three, my best friend, talking about Skip Spence here. I highly recommend you listen to the album Or. Today, now I think that's Jerry on lead. It's got that signature slidey sound of his. Five, coming back to me, and I don't know who's on the recorder. And 30, and number six is three and three three-fifths of a mile in 10 seconds. I had a little trouble getting that out. I think this is the best cut. It's got a really cool turnaround. And seven, DCBA, 25. This is kind of fluffy pop. Eight, how do you feel? This is very pleasant and a little druggy. Nine, Embryonic Journey, and guitar. It's Yorma, perhaps at his very best. Ten, White Rabbit, and you definitely know that. And eleven, Plastic Fantastic Lover, very typically trippy. Now the next album, Crying of Creation, features the song Lather written by Slick about Dryden. And they were an item for a time. After Altamont and the Hell's Angels violence, Dryden quit. Bad vibes, man. And then after a break, Dryden became drummer for a new Riders of the Purple Sage, a country rock band. Gary Garcia, Phil Lesh, and Mickey Hart of the Grateful Dead were in the band and tried and replaced Hart as drummer in 1971. 
Dryden stayed for seven years. He then played for the Dinosaurs before retiring in 1995. Of course, Dryden is in the Hall of Fame with Jefferson Airplane. They were inducted in 1996. It was colon cancer that took Dryden in 2005. Grace Slick wrote Lather. Lather was 30 years old today and they took away all of his toys. This was used as an epitaph. Thanks everybody for being with me on For Drummers Only. Hope you enjoyed what I had to say about Spencer Dryden, certainly a towering talent, part of the history, the pantheon of many different rock icons. Drummers are the heart of any band. Thanks for being with me. See you next time. Take good care.